There are a lot of different opinions out there in the motorcycle community when it comes to aftermarket parts for your motorcycle. However, there's a general consensus that the stock seat that comes with the Honda Rebel 500 and 300 is just not adequate for longer rides and just does not cut it. I agreed with this consensus and so a couple months ago I went out and I bought the Mustang Tripper Solo Seat 84000. I've had the seat for a few months and ridden on it for roughly 2500 miles and so today I'm going to go out and give you guys my honest longer term review and opinion and try to answer the question is the Mustang Tripper Solo Seat the best seat upgrade for the Honda Rebel 3 and 500. All right, that dude was sketchy, so let's get the F out of here. And just like that, we're gonna be on the road in three, two, one, boom. All right, so like I said, this is the 2,500 mile review of the Mustang Tripper Solo Seat. And welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Evergreen Motovlog channel. Saw so, dudes. Thank you all for stopping by and hanging on out. If you've not had a chance, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Got plenty of Honda Rebel content on the channel and headed your way. Also tons of motorcycle content. So a couple months ago, I decided that one day of long riding, I decided to purchase the Mustang seat because I just, I had it, you know? The stock seat on this bike is good for short distances. And if all you're gonna do is just, you know, half hour commute, 45 minute ride, that kind of thing, then the stock seat is fine. But for anything longer than that, you really start to feel it. And then I, I got to the point where I was feeling it for the next day or whatever. So I decided to upgrade to the Mustang seat. That was one of the popular choices that a lot of people speak very highly of. So I decided to film myself during that process. So go ahead and check out the install video right here. And go ahead and check out my first impressions and initial review video linked right here. I was really excited to get the seat when I first put it on. I enjoyed pretty much every aspect of it. I thought it looked really great. I went out and filmed my first impressions and as you know I <laughs> had some audio problems so I refilmed my first impressions and showed it to all you guys. And that video has done really well on the channel so I figured I would do an update video. I know previously I talked about doing an update video and that is what this is here today. So without further ado, the 2500 mile Mustang Tripper Solo Seat Review. Before I get started, I'd like to preface this with saying that I rode on the stock seat for about 12 or 1400 miles, somewhere in that range, and then got the Mustang seat, have had it for about 2500 miles, and I do all kinds of riding. I do short half hour to 45 minute rides, but I also do longer rides, and rides that include me being out on the motorcycle all day. I've got a couple rides, multiple rides, where I'm on the bike for almost 200 miles. Waiting for this stoplight to change. Boop, boop. Anyway, no, so multiple rides over 200 miles or around the 200 mile range. You know, sitting on the seat all day, maybe taking a couple breaks. I need to get some gasolina. So I definitely have had a couple different types of experiences on this seat and like I said I was on the stock seat for a while and just realized that that wasn't cutting it and figured that I needed to give the Mustang seat a try and one of the reasons why I decided to go with the Mustang seat was just because of the look of it and based on you know what a lot of people are saying about it you know a lot of people are saying oh my gosh this is the best seat 
there's no other one that compares it's amazing complete game changer i was like all right there, there's a lot of people that are saying some really great positive things about the seat so is it really what it's all cracked up to be that's the question right is the mustang seat the best seat that you can get for the honda rebel 300 or 500 holy crap the sun is just super bright today 421 a gallon it's crazy when it's like in the low fours and that's like a good number <laughs> Hold, please. Nom, 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 nom. Get the gasoline. Hungry, hungry motorcycle. So one of the things that surprised me about the seat after having it for a couple of weeks and enjoying it was just how much people really like the aesthetics of it. So I would mentioned previously that I thought it looked really good and it felt like it kind of fit the curves of the bike better. I think it adds to the bike and, and makes the Rebel look like a better motorcycle. But anytime I take the bike out and show it to friends or show it to other people who knew what the Rebel looked like and were interested in it or whatever, they seem to agree. It definitely holds up. It definitely seems to make the bike look really cool. It's interesting because it doesn't look like an aftermarket part. Like once you look at it on the motorcycle, you kind of think of it as something that should just be there, like a part of the motorcycle. But then you look at the stock seat and like, or a picture of the stock seat or, you know, a comparison or something. And it's like, wow. it. <laughs> it's like lacking something so i'm gonna go ahead and just talk about some of the pros and the things that i've appreciated about oh it, that i should have turned there son of a biscuit mm, the light might not see me so like i mentioned i'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of the pros or the things that i've appreciated and enjoyed about the mustang seat so far and like I mentioned previously, I think the aesthetics would be one of them for sure. Uh, I, I just, I think the seat looks great on the bike. I think it enhances the bike. I think it makes the bike look better. And so that's something I really appreciate. And obviously I know that you're not getting a seat purely just because it makes the bike look better, but I definitely think it adds something and, it, and you could consider it as like an added bonus. Next, I wanna talk about just the overall comfort and the feeling of the seat and what I think of how it does on shorter rides, medium rides, and longer rides. When I first sat on the seat, I knew it was gonna be a game changer for sure. I knew it was gonna be super comfortable. I sat on it and I immediately knew that I was gonna like it and that it was gonna add so much to my riding quality. Did I know <laughs> what I was talking about? No, of course not, but I was right for sure. Like this seat is super comfortable and it enhances my riding quality for sure, 100%. Comfort is really important when you're riding your motorcycle. Sometimes you have to sacrifice comfort for certain things like gear or riding position, but comfort is incredibly important. So by adding the Mustang seat, I added a tremendous amount of comfort to my riding experience. So as compared to the stock seat, because that is the only other seat that I've ever sat on with a Honda Rebel, the Mustang seat has no issues at do going shorter distances in that one to two hour range of riding. When you do medium distances, the Mustang seat has no problems again. It's super comfortable, it doesn't get tiring, it doesn't feel, you know, I, I start to notice other things, getting fatigued or sore when I'm riding, such as like my legs or my feet, my arms, but not, not my, my ass. <laughs> not my back, not my lower back, not anything. And the Mustang seat makes a huge difference. And when it comes to longer rides, I think the Mustang seat does about as best as it can. I, I think when it comes down to it, there's just only so much you can do for those extra long rides. And so in my experience, when I hit that 150 mile plus ride, I do start to feel the soreness and the tightness 
and discomfort. But again, I think that's just going to come with any seat that you have when you ride for longer periods of time or for longer distances. However, I will say that even though I do feel it at that point, when I get off the seat and go sit down somewhere, the strain or discomfort or, you know, whatever you want to call it, vanishes. I mean, it's not, obviously, there's going to be just general fatigue from riding, but for the most part, once I'm off the seat and take a break for a couple minutes, it, it's gone. And then I can sit back down and ride for another 20, 30 miles and feel totally comfortable. And so that's one thing that I would say is a huge improvement over the stock seat on the Honda Rebel 500 is that once I got tired with the stock seat, the, I would be done, you know. I would be uncomfortable for the rest of the ride. And if I took a break, maybe it would improve a little bit, but for the most part, it would remain the same and I would have that general discomfort in my lower leg or uh, upper legs, you know, thigh, lower back, that kind of area. So with the Mustang seat, I, I'm able to take a break and get back on the bike and feel as good as you can. <laughs> given the circumstances of going on a long ride. That's definitely a huge improvement over the stock seat. On top of that, like I said, if I would do a longer ride, you know, in excess of two hours or so, maybe around 100 miles on the stock seat, the next day I would definitely still feel some of the areas that would be uncomfortable from the ride. And the Mustang seat, again, I'm, I'm not feeling sore after riding. I'm not feeling sore the next day. So yeah, definitely the two biggest things that have jumped out at me with upgrading to the Mustang seat have been the aesthetics of it and the comfort. I'm not gonna say it's been perfect, like I said, in terms of comfort, but there's been a, a large improvement and it's been noticeable for sure. After 2000 miles, do I regret getting it? No, not at all. I do not regret a single penny that I spent on the Mustang seat. And I'm going to go ahead and have a link for you guys down below. So go ahead and check that out. It's on Amazon, but you can get it, you know, a lot of different places. But go ahead and check the link out. It'll help the channel out. And now to the question that you have all been waiting for. Is the Mustang seat the best seat that you can upgrade to with the Honda Rebel 500? And to answer that question, I guess, truthfully, I would have to experience other seats. But personally, some of the other popular ones I've either heard some negative reviews on, or honestly, I just personally don't like the look of them. You know, so I'm thinking specifically of the Corbin seat. I don't love the look of the Corbin seat very much. It's different, but for in terms of how it looks on the Honda Rebel 500, I just don't think it looks as good as the... Mustang seat does. Additionally, I've heard of some quality issues with the Corbin seat and some customer service issues. So, you know, so far I have had zero quality issues with the Mustang seat. I think it's been a great option. I think it's totally comfortable. I've really enjoyed it. I think it, honestly, it should come from the factory. I'd say at this point, in my opinion, it is the best seat that you can get for the Honda Rebel 300 or 500. But yeah, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think in terms of other seat options and if you think of the Mustang seat the same way that I do. You know, let me know your experience, what you think of the look. But I personally do not regret purchasing it. I highly recommend it. So if I had to talk a little bit about uh, some cons, the only cons that I you know, I guess I would say about the seat is, like I mentioned, once you get to a certain amount of time, you do start to feel it a little bit in terms of comfort. But again, I just, I, I don't, I think you're going to feel discomfort at any point. I mean, I feel discomfort when I'm sitting in a car for too long. The price, I mean, obviously we'd all wish for things to be less expensive, but you know, that's just the way it goes. I feel like it's, it's right there with other uh, aftermarket seats and uh, items so I don't think it was strongly overpriced and honestly I think what you get for the seat is definitely worth it and then yeah it'd be kind of nice if the Mustang seat came with a few different options for looks I guess 
you know, maybe if you get a brown one or if you could get a diamond stitch one. I think that'd be kind of cool. It only comes in black, but honestly, I think the black fits any Honda Rebel 500 or 300, so it's not like it doesn't look good with some of the other paint colors there are for the bike. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what your experience is with the Mustang seat. Let me know what you thought of this review if you'd like to see me do another update down the road. I may. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe after a year or so. But I think it's just going to be saying the same thing. <laughs> I've really liked this seat. So yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if anything changes. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you have anything negative to say about the seat. Or if, you know, there are any issues that you've run into. Going to go ahead and cut it off there. Thank you all for hanging on out and watching the video. If you've not had a chance, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it. And I've got tons of motorcycle content both on the channel and headed your way. We got to end it off a little bit better than that. Yeah, I, even as I'm riding right now, I've been riding for almost an hour. And it feels like I'm just sitting on a cloud. <laughs> I feel like this has got to be the right way, but I don't know if it is. I'm freaking lost. I've never been here before, so... I'm definitely lost. Whoa, oh, hey, hey, hey! <coughs> Dude! Holy shit! Whew! All right. And this is the Evergreen Motor Vlog Channel, reminding y'all to ride safe out there, mind your surroundings, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace!